Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2018 in San Jose. I'm here with Dave from Verizon Digital Media Services. Dave, how are you doing? Good, nice to be here. Thanks, Mike. So Verizon Digital Media Services, mm -hmm. what is that? It's a lot in one. Uh, yes, that's a lot of words. Um, so Verizon Digital Media Services was formed in, the, in around 2014. We brought um, the Edgecast CDN together with uh, another startup out of Utah called Uplink, uh, who provide a video streaming solution. The idea being that bringing those two things together, we can offer something that not many other people can, which is a full end-to-end -end video solution, leveraging uh, one of the fastest and largest CDNs in the world. So fastest and largest CDNs in the world, what, what do you do with your CDN? Who, who, who gets access to it? Um, so we're a full commercial CDN. Uh, anyone can, can sign up and use the CDN. We have approximately 100,000 active customers. Um, it's, we do everybody. We do from like the smallest e-commerce website all the way up through like major broadcasters who are leveraging our video solution. Um, and it's, it's actually pretty interesting. We've built the CDN um, to handle a variety of use cases. It's very different to be delivering like lots and lots of video very quickly than trying to do uh, accelerating someone's website. So we spend a lot of time um, optimizing and making making all the systems that we have kind of automatically scale and adjust for like a wide range of use cases. So the, the short answer is anyone can use it. Anyone can. Are there industries that seem to gravitate towards you folks? Because I, I mean, media seems like it would be a natural. Yeah, I mean, um, it's right there in the name, right? Like, and um, yes, we service a lot of media customers. Um, it's not just media customers though. We end up with a, a very interesting like spread. Um, for example, we do a lot of airlines who are who, if, you know, if, you're, if you're booking a website, yeah. you travel through like APAC or Scandinavia, chances are you're using the Edgecast CDN. We do all, and it's, it tends to be kind of regional. It's very interesting. In the US, it's basically across all sectors and all domains. We work with, with lots and lots of partners, lots of resellers, um, and yeah, we provide services to whoever wants a fast, safe, reliable website. And, and is this worldwide or is this yes. mostly North America? No, no, worldwide. We uh, deploy it in all six continents. I say all six. No one, to my knowledge, has a pop in Antarctica yet. Um, all six continents, we have 125 points of presence. At the moment, we have 50 terabits of egress capacity. Um, by the time anyone watches this, that number will be higher because we're growing as quickly as we can. Um, yes, no, we're, we're a, global, a global company. So. And what would you say is the biggest advantage of a, a corporation using you guys as opposed to someone else? Oh, great question. Um, I think one of the things that Verizon carries with it is kind of a reputation for reliability. Um, I think that really resonates with customers who, uh, you know, your web property these days is like your front, like one of your most public facing components to your business. You can't really afford downtime, it's very expensive and it reflects negatively on you. So you need to partner with someone who has that kind of ethos of reliability and performance. Um, I think Verizon chose very wisely buying Edgecast. Edgecast is the fastest CDN in the world. Um, and partnering with Verizon, we've been able to kind of scale everything up to have just enormous capacity to handle basically anyone's traffic profile. And Edgecast, Edgecast came from working at the edge or? Uh, Edgecast was the name of the, one of the companies that, that, right. that Verizon acquired. And do you run CD, CDNs all over? I mean, at the edge of? A corporate network and uh, uh, the no, heart of it's, one. It's, it's a most of all, all of our data centers are in kind of like um, data centers all around the world. So we we and we kind of you know that's ours. We rent that um, okay. from from data center providers. And that's what I mean when I refer to the edge. Okay. Yeah, so we don't, we don't uh, delve into like on prem. Okay. Type stuff. Okay. So it's okay. Um, so where do you see Edgecast and and Verizon Digital Media Services in? let's say six months, mm. and then I want you to look further out and look at like where would you like to be in the long term? Oh, good questions. <clears throat> um, we have a couple of really exciting things kind of uh, brewing that will be, will be released in the, in the next six months. Um, the fundamental principle that we have is like, a seat, like the, everyone's capacity requirements are always growing. Like 4K is going to drop soon. It's it's going to go mainstream. It's it's available in some formats, but not others. The uptick there is going to be huge. You're going to need someone that has a lot of capacity to be able to deliver that to your customers. Um, so because of that, we're continuously investing in the CDN to to scale up to meet everyone's demands. Um, because one of the other things that we really offer is this kind, of, and it's right here on my T-shirt, is like security. So. Um, 
I'm sure we're all, all familiar with like DDoS attacks. Light speed with your shields up. Exactly. So, so nice and fast and secure. So what I mean, the, the element of security that I'm trying to drive at is um, it's very, very hard to, to protect against DDoSs if you don't have enough capacity to, to, to absorb them. There, I mean, we do lots of intelligent things to, to mitigate them. To absorb them. Yeah. So you have to absorb them first before you. There's a. I mean, it, it, it's actually pretty. It's actually pretty interesting. I mean, there are you know there's a range of DDoS attacks, and we protect everything from layer three and four, which is like very kind of low level, but also pretty dumb attacks where. They're literally just trying to flood your systems with more or less nonsense, all the way up to layer seven attacks, which are pro which are typically more targeted at our customers. So they may be targeting not uh, by request volume, but targeting a specific part of your website. For example, if you have a, um, a search function on your website, and that search function you've implemented to read your database, the database is going to be the slowest point. So if someone can and if someone can just target that with a lot of queries and tip over your database, then your whole website potentially goes down. So being able to like uh, to protect against all of those things is very important. So we have a whole product built around protecting our customers' origins, and then we deploy massive amounts of infrastructure with um, kind of intelligent systems that actually we've we've talked at Velocity about previously, built on top of the the kind of sheer capacity that we have to um, effectively block it as quickly as we can. But to get back to your earlier question about yeah. where are we going yeah. in the kind of next six months. There's a couple of really interesting features. So built on top of kind of scaling everything out to meet customers' demands, there's some really exciting features that we have that I, I think the Velocity crowd will be will be really excited about. Um, and I mentioned some of them in my keynote, but moving to a real-time everything and giving our customers uh, complete control o over our CDN. And that sounds scary when I say it like that, but... <laughs> the, I mean, our customers yeah, yeah. complete control. Yeah. The, the point there is that if I'm a customer, um, I want to, I want to be able to get the CDN to do what I want when I want it. Because if I don't, um, like the whole goal there is to be able to keep my website uh, as fast and performant and up. Um, and if things take too much time, or if I am not protected from making a mistake, or if I can't see what's happening, what what a CDN is doing on my behalf, that becomes very difficult. Um, so we're about to deploy a bunch of, so I release a bunch of features that are called edge control which um, are specifically geared for that. Everything is real time. Um, every change is you can stage and test, and it's much, much more developer friendly than, than our existing stuff. And giving customers more control. Yes, it, yeah. it's, it's entirely geared around giving customers control of exactly what they want to do, when, and then real time feedback so that they can see whether or not the thing that they asked the CDN to do is, is doing what they expected and whether it's improving things or actually un, if it's unexpectedly making things worse. And are you yeah. starting to use uh, AI to help with, with yes. these sort of things as well, yeah. especially like uh, detecting anomalies and you know, DDoS yep. attacks and yes. search? <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely, all, all of those things. And so we're using AI in, in quite a few places. We use it for anomaly detection, for identifying kind of erroneous traffic or erroneous, like, uh, potentially mali malicious traffic hitting yeah. our customers' origins. And we're also using it um, in the, the web application firewall component, which is more um, uh, designed to block known attacks rather than, over rather than protecting someone from like a, just too many of things which are valid. It's more trying to identify things which are known to be bad. So we have a, some interesting projects kind of bringing together a lot of different data sources that we have from low level all the way up, up through high level. And um, we have some interesting kind of models that we're deploying to the edge um, to, to help with that. It's kind, of, it's kind of exciting. Excellent, so six to 12 months from now, we're, mm -hmm. we're going to see a total different uh, offering from you guys? I mean, uh, you're getting customers more? Customers more control, that, that'll, that will be kind of a, a brand new offering for us. It will be very exciting. The, the integration with the other components, the security stuff, will probably more be iterative. Um, we just uh, roll it out. Yeah. Exactly, it'll just be yeah. kind of integrated in. One of the nice things about AI and machine learning is that if it does its job well, you don't know that it's there, which is great. <laughs> and it keeps doing it. And, and it keeps doing it, yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great. And you know, we um, our security offering just got reviewed by Forrest and Sullivan. Um, very, very, and was reviewed very, very favorably, which Excellent. is which is great to see. It's it's kind of nice to see the the hard work that we put in get kind of some some industry recognition. Excellent. Well, Dave, we look forward to six to twelve months from now. That's fun. Thanks, Mike.